stealth bomb? What in the stealth bomb, people? Look at that! Oh, it's kind of sexy. How is it, Raider? So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so. Huh? Damn. I mean, how does it feel to fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Thanks. Right. Can you hear me, Raiko? Doctor. <laughs> Remember the two procedures to maintain the door. Body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. Oh. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Left hands? The combat data stored on holographic memory typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. I'll try my best. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. I'll try my best, Doctor. Three mics out and closing. Can't say anything. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the mm -hmm. terrorists, and restore the rightful what? government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. Okay. The terrorists brainjacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Well, okay then. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. And Mani's killers. If we don't stop oh. here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that's his name. Jetstream Sand. This time, he won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. Oh, uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Let's do this, baby. I got one eye good. I got one eye good still. We all good. Shit. So, uh, Doctor, tell me about these upgrades a little. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. I struck land. I walk in a cool way. The water drips. Good way. Oh yeah. I'm ready. I am ready. Raiden, right, you landed safely, huh? Of course. First head inward. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have quick. Got you, Doc. Oh, uh... Oh, we got we got some movies. The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To barricade oh, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Shit! I missed it. Oh! Got you! Dead 
Ooh. Give me it. Did I get his left arm? What is this? Okay. I don't understand about the left arm thing. Who's calling me? Had your film? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. Shit. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes What's nuts. This? PMCs, on the other hand, are off Just... the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. Aye, aye. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. I... But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? Well, their arms are mine. I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> What the fuck? Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. And I shall stop it. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. It isn't cold. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. It's not code. It's just the way of life. B? Oh yeah, I got I did get hit a few times. I am right. I am going, going. Oh, it's calling me. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As Going I up. said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Hmm. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Well, I want to be spies. Do not let your guard down. I shall not. Raiden, you are going crazy right now. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them or approach from behind. Alright, alright, alright. Just, uh. Hey. Just gonna just walk up to this guy. Be like, what's up, buddy? So, uh. How you doing? Everything cool? Bam! Did I get his left arm? I don't even know. I don't even understand this is a left arm shit. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. How do we do that? Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. How do we do it? Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. I... I... Well... What is this? On a box. Oh, grenade! That's cool. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No, I'm not doing anything. Can we just kill them? It'll be easier. As opposed to have driven them all away already. So, self-defense, right? <laughs> oh! Thank you. 
Alright buddy, alright. Ah! Bam, baby! I'm not going stealth. Oh, okay. He is scared to death, Ryder. Let him know he is. Oh, safe. sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Hey. Hey, asshole. You're good. Thank you, thank you. I will not forget. Whatever, buddy. This is, don't be an idiot. I don't have time to deal with you. I freaking hate these guys. Oh, I can't believe I got it. What the? Okay, I'm. Oh shit! Oh my god, I hate this guy. Please give me it! Oh shit! No, 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 no! Fuck! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, fuck it. Ooh! There we go. Wonder who's ass who's gonna let me do it. Oh, oh that's so stupid. Are you doing that? Die, please! Oh my goodness! I hate you! Very good, Raiden. Now, keep heading for Oh, Raiden. crap. I don't know if I another one. So, um. Uh, I'm gonna run this way. Just going to a uh, higher on the sideline. Thank you. They have erected an electromagnetic barricade. Maybe expecting UG or cyborg attack, huh? Well, it sucks for them because I literally ran to the side. Right and wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Right there. Uh, from the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Right there. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Right there. Really? All right. Must be a collectible. Thanks, game, for telling me. Uh, okay. Don't really care. <sighs> the stealth craft made it back to Sochi, all right. Duh. Safe and sound. Nice. No repairs necessary. Some routine maintenance, and she will be as good as new. Good to hear. I'm guessing that thing doesn't come cheap. Well, an old Soviet army friend gave me discount. He runs a PMC specializing in airborne warfare. Cool. An air force for hire? <laughs> That's a new one. Ever since SOP, Mercs started to fill more and more regular combat duties. SOP ended, but the trend did not. 
Most every modern military relies on PMC support in one way or another. Cool. Good news for Maverick, I suppose. Anyway, that's quite the little jet your friend has. I was expecting a lot of turbulence coming in that low, but she was smooth as silk. Didn't feel like I was a bird exactly, but probably the next best thing. The MQ-133C uses a brand new type of active adjustment control system. Sensors on the plane take readings 120 times a second, and uh, to be honest, I don't know how it works. But the crew chief tells me this is what keeps her flying so steady. It is all state-of-the-art technology. There are only three of them in the entire Damn. world. Even the RQ-133 spy plane she is based on is only two years old. It is fitted specially for Cyborg. So maybe demand is a bit low now, but I think that will change soon, eh? Shh. Mm. It's funny. Its guts are all bleeding edge. But from the outside, it looks almost retro. Until recently, stealth aircraft design was focused on radar absorbing materials and improving aerodynamics. But lately, engineers are trying to use the shape of the craft to do more than improve gas mileage. Maneuverability is a low priority. This kind of plane is not meant for dogfighting, after all. And we can afford all this? I hate to ask, but will we clear a profit on this op? You need not worry about such things. But yes, we should be fine. Where the proper equipment can make or break a mission, we should have the best. That miss with the anti-air missile last month was a painful reminder of this lesson. Ah, uh, yeah. I see what you mean. Wait, what? Dude, that was awesome. I'm, I'm gonna talk to everyone right now. It looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. Why is his mouth moving so much? Definitely gonna see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got That's bad. So weird. They've basically got control of the entire town. And are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. Cool, cool. Alright, let's talk to uh Country. How we doing, Court? Oh shit. You're looking good on I mean, our I mean, end. Mean, audio visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption? Check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this yes. new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? No, well, at least not yet. Roger that. Let me know if you change. Hey, your baby, mind. I just copy. I'm glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <sighs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job, and it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti-Imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster, or coordinated better, I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. <laughs> you did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. <sighs> You're right. Thanks. Damn, you see that cleavage on who? I I was holding that back all all day all day long, just looking at it. I was like, huh, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe you uh, should shake it a little bit more for me. Titan, shall we review the capabilities of your Just new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. I want to hear it. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from seized nano paste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity what? itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. Okay. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. Cool. But ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might say. 
Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So weird. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Okay. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be Thanks. a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian? I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany. Oh! Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, What the everywhere. fuck? Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. What the These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? That had to be one of the weirdest talks I've ever had in a game. Let's go customize. Begin customize. When you exit customization, you will restart story mode from the last checkpoint. Oh! Let's not do that. Let's not do that, too. Alright, well, I think I'm good. Ooh, that was weird. Um, I'm gonna save it right here. I don't know why. I need to call Courtney. Country. Yeah, I do, baby. Manual saving. Roger that. Save yes. complete. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes what with the, the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non-combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much. Have one of the ex-military there take over. Just... I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. They need a better understanding of what they're mixed up in. The laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Ooh! Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I'm about to save your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not that... Oh, son of a... Please tell me that was a joke. Wow. See of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. Oh. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. Left hands. Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. I'll try my best. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years early. Oh. Like a stealth bomb? What in a stealth bomber, people? Look at that. Oh, it's kind of sexy. So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. Yeah, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. I'll try my best, Doctor. Three mics out closing. Can't say anything. No activity.
activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Calf, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the mm -hmm. terrorists, and restore the rightful uh. government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. Okay. <laughs> yes, I should hope so. Huh? Damn. I mean, how does it feel to fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Thanks. Right. Can you hear me, Raikou? Doctor. <laughs> Remember the two procedures to maintain Doctor. your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Well, okay then. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Oh. Imani's killer. 